is it? Oh, yeah. This ridiculous antenna. Is that what did that he, was? Did he take it down? Oh, he took it, it took it down, yeah. Oh, hey, so we're up in the attic, folks. And we're looking at... Um, this one's really kind of weird. They've got this styrofoam on the outside of the studs, and it's right up against the brick. This is actually a first that I've seen like this. Um, normally, you'd have, if people do some styrofoam or, or uh, like a fireboard, it's on the inside of the studs, and the bees are in that cavity. But it's really odd. Um, I showed you the outside where the gable's sticking over. They're normally in that exterior gable if they're anywhere, but that's a really small gable. That's where they're flying in and out of. But based on how many bees are up there and are over here, um, and they're they're chewing, you can hear them, they're actively chewing that styrofoam. Based on how they are in here, we're thinking they might actually have long, narrow combs down between the brick and the styrofoam. That's really, really rare to have, but we're gonna find out either way. Uh, we're gonna start setting the back and everything up here in the attic to begin with anyway, and see how much we can do from behind them, cutting all this out, and hopefully not have to do too much in the gable outside. But I think ultimately we're gonna end up opening that gable outside as well. But just wanna give you a little shot of the before picture here in the attic. We're just set up in the attic here and started cutting out the foam and believe it or not they there's actually combs right here between that foam and the brick annulus it's it's really uncommon because it's such a narrow slot but i've cut some out here on my side and uh charlie started working on his side where the bees are clustered you see a little comb over there too so if they really have just <clears throat> you know one great big flat sheet comb i could believe it um it's just really odd to to have them not be in that soffit but we're gonna work on taking out the styrofoam for now and taking out what cones we can see. Uh, and then we'll see about whether or not we need to get into the soffit. Uh, here's our window, by the way. Showed you guys that window on the outside on the front of the house. So, you know, it's completely useless as, as an actual window. <laughs> they put felt across the back of it. I don't understand it personally, but hey, we each his own. Um, anyway, yeah, we're gonna keep working on cutting this out and backing these. All right, so we're just finishing up in the attic. Um, the comb was all down in here. We started cutting all that out, started working our way up. We had a big patch of brood up here in this kind of peak and then a little bit more honey over there on the side. Um, but we've gotten up here. We've already kind of shut our lights down. We found our window, by the way. Um, you can see all sorts of daylight coming through on the soffits. That's where the bees are getting in. But we were actually able to just cut a little hole and see right up into the soffit there that gable end and up in here. And they had just a little bit of bar comb right in there, but no substantial nest. So nothing actually in the soffit, which is really amazing. So we sprayed repellent in here, we ran them out, we sprayed repellent in this side of the soffit and this side of the soffit to push them up and out the peak. And so now we're gonna move everything outside, get the vacuum set up, get up on the ladder, and um, clean up what's left, hopefully catch that queen. We didn't see her in here anywhere. So I'm thinking she probably made her way outside while we were cutting, but we'll let you know. All right, so we're just setting back up outside. We're done inside. Got a pretty good cluster of them out here. Um, down below where they were going in and out and up there at the very tip of the peak. So we're going to get the vacuum fired up. Scamper up here with the hose. Hopefully it's long enough, but if not, we're going to have to try to hoist the vacuum up and tie it off the ladder or something. But I'm thinking hopefully I have enough. I've got about 30 foot of hose, which is going to be every bit of it. But got my queen catcher ready. Scamper up there and see if we can't find her. Well, we are up here with a view. I just caught the queen. I'll show her to you guys here in a minute. They were all clumped up here. You know, on the peak like I showed you and down underneath. So I just got up here and started doing handfuls and dumping the handfuls right out here on this window ledge and just letting them, you know, spread out and run. And about the sixth or seventh time I did that, she she went to running, but we, we got her in the clip and got her in a cage. So she's sitting in the truck now. And so we're just trying to get, I just started sucking up bees real quick and the hose plugged. So now we're, Charlie's working on the hose, but give you guys an idea. He got a picture of me all the way up here, but he's all the way down there. Just a 40 foot extension ladder and I'm standing at the top of it. So we're up here. Did you get it cleared? 
Yeah. Okay, I'm coming down to get it. Or can you... Yeah, that worked. I'll come halfway. All right, we just got home with them and got them set up here. Um, they look really, really good. Um, and I know I, I shouldn't say that like I'm surprised. That should be the expectation. But I've had a few problems here lately that my vac box, of course, with it falling apart and finally imploding, I actually had a couple of, of failures where the bees got, you know, they kept plugging up the hose and then they would be stuffed up in there and suffocating the hose and I had big messes. But anyway, yeah, today went really, really good. I actually, I expected more dead loss actually um, just because we were up in that attic and it was so hot and it's, it's really hot and humid today and I had a long drive home. Um, but you know, I, I winged them in the back of the truck and tossed some water in there for them to have a drink and they looked really, really good. There was maybe a half a pound of dead bees, um, probably about three to three and a half pounds of live bees. So it looks really good. The hive wasn't nearly as big as it you know, looked when we first got there and checked it over, you know, and the bees were all outside on the roof and flying back and forth like crazy. It looked like it was gonna be a huge colony. It really wasn't that big. Um, but anyway, of course I might've lost some bees on the way home. I, I told Charlie to, uh, to make sure that this duct tape was secure over that hole. And when I got home, that's what it looked like. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. I, ex I expected to open an empty box when I saw that, but there was actually a, a lot still in there. So that's really great. Um, but yeah, they look really good. The bottom box, I got a frame of brood from another hive. That's my normal routine. I've told you guys that before. Stuck the queen against it. She looked really good. Bees were happy to have her. Um, and then I added the second box on top. It's just empty frames just to give them a little better ventilation and I need to get a feed jar. Now our honey flow is on right now, but I want to go ahead and feed these girls up anyway. Hopefully they'll take it because right now they just have a frame of brood and a little bit of honey and they need, they need a lot more. So I need to get them fed um, and keep them hopping. And I, I reckon, you know, feed all these that have jars and just see if they'll take it. Cause all the ones with jars on, I'm not planning on getting honey from anyway. So I need to offer them a little feed and see if they'll take it. But anyway, these from the, from the gable end attic job, they look really, really good. I'm just wanting the rest of them to figure out how to get back inside the hive because they're, they're kind of annoying me right now. I feel like they're too stupid to get in. I might pop that cap off and, and help a few more of them in there. Um, but fingers crossed, they'll stick. They're nice gentle bees and they're a good size hive, so I hope they make it.